Although the election of Donald Trump as president was clearly the death of any federal effort over these past few years to stop climate breakdown internationally. We have been able to rely recently on states to do something significant and substantive about emissions and our climate crisis. In just the last year, Maine, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, New Mexico, California, and New Jersey passed a pretty ambitious targets for renewable energy and lowering statewide emissions. Actually, since 2015, Hawaii has had a 100% renewables target in place. Well, we've got one more state to add to that list with perhaps a better plan than all but maybe Hawaii, and that is New York with their new plan. New York's new climate targets include 100% carbon free electricity by 2040 and economy wide net zero carbon emissions by 2050. The difference there between zero and net zero is that only 85% of the reductions must come from New York's own energy and industrial emissions. The remaining 15% can come from carbon offsets like from forestry or agriculture or I guess at least hypothetically carbon capture and sequestration in the future, although that's a little bit far off. So look, the the whole zero versus net zero thing, that's not the best, we would prefer the former, but I understand where they're coming from. And understand that when we talk about state level efforts, the state does not have legal authority to control everything that can conceivably emit carbon or other sorts of pollutants. They can control what they can, but for the rest, offsets can be useful. And in terms of those offsets, it sounds like that might open up for for some, like if corporate lobbyists to to give a little bit of extra leeway to coal plants or something like that. So they can continue polluting, but with offsets, which is not the goal that we as environmental progressives are going for. But this plan is actually pretty savvy when it comes to things like that. Stationary electrical sources like power plants cannot avail themselves of offsets. It's there basically for things like, I think they said cement mixing is one example, and others where hypothetically there will be a need for offsets in the short term. And they're not polluters to the scale or magnitude that something like a coal plant would be. In terms of verifying that this goes the way it should and that corporations are not finding tricky ways to get around the requirements in the bill, emission reductions must be real and verifiable. They must be distributed equitably, so that's where you get into the component of environmental justice. They must not increase emissions of co-pollutants and they must minimize so-called leakage, whereby emitting facilities simply relocate outside of the state. That last bit sounds difficult in the long term to make sure of, but they are setting up a council that's going to be checking in periodically to make sure that corporations aren't evading either the letter or hopefully the spirit of the law as well. Every four years, the council will issue a comprehensive report on state greenhouse gas emissions and progress and adjust its plan as needed. So look, this is not the best plan that you could conceivably come up with, but it is pretty amazing. It's better than many of the other states that have actually come up with plans to deal with climate change have done. This is, I think, a good model for other parts of the country going forward. If we could get every state to 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 require at least something approaching this, that would go a long way towards fulfilling our requirements under the Paris Climate Accord, which of course we're not a part of, but ideally we would still abide by its goals. This I think is a is a great week of progress for people who care about dealing with the climate crisis. At the same time though, I'm not going to pretend that the situation is great. Progress is great, but we have to be realistic. This is the damage port after all. And so I just did a little bit of just brief searching, like type in climate, type in you know emissions and things like that. And you'll see what comes up. And in just the past couple of days, news broke that a Himalayan glacier melting has doubled since 2000, according to spy satellites. So that's bad. Not just as a signal that the climate is warming, but for the 1 billion people who depend on those glaciers for water, that's potentially a life or death crisis right there. In terms of our ability to do something about climate change, if it continues, like rising ocean levels and things like that, if we want to ward off the damage, seawalls to protect the US against rising oceans could cost $416 billion over just the next couple of decades. So if you think we're just going to build some walls, How are we going to pay for it? I hope Jake Tapper asked that. And to return to sort of the beginning of this segment, we were talking about federal efforts to do something about climate breakdown. Trump has now ditched the sole climate rule that aimed to reduce coal plant pollution, getting rid of the clean power plan for his new plan, which pretends that it cares about emissions in particular of carbon, but is incredibly friendly to dirty sources of energy. So that is the reality of what we're dealing with now, but 
on the state level and especially in New York. Which by the way, we would have only we only got this because of progressive state level primary challenges this last time around. Up until then the IDC had been blocking exactly this sort of plan. Um, that is progress and we can duplicate that in other states if we take these primaries seriously going forward. Here on the Damage Report, we talk a lot about the big banks and their ways of getting rich off the poor. They saturate the market, but there are other options. And I've got info on a socially and environmentally responsible financial institution that has no ATM fees, gives you cash back on every purchase. They even commit 10% of their earnings to charity. It's called Aspiration, and if you go to aspiration.com slash TYT to sign up, you'll get these perks and that's more money to spend or save or to spend, just treat yourself.